Good day, everyone. So I had this fantastic idea to go to the store and pick up one of each kind of Little Debbie's cakes that I could find. And when I came home, I realized that I had gotten 17 boxes of different kinds of confections and breakfast pastries and just everything. Now, when I added all of this up, uh, it came out to over 30 thousand calories <laughs> so i've got one heck of a big stomach but i don't think that i can do this entire thing in one sitting but i'll tell you guys what instead of that i'm gonna try one of each of one of these things and just let you guys know what i think all right so without further ado i'm gonna clear off some space so you can actually see what i'm doing here So I'm gonna start the logical place with a couple of breakfast pastries, their honey buns and their pecan spin wheels. So Little Debbie's, it's kind of an interesting company. They kind of do the same thing as Hostess, you know, the Twinkies guys, uh, except that they really don't advertise themselves very much. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see Little Debbie's uh, commercials on TV too often. So you eight of these little tiny guys. Now each one of these is only 110 calories, so it's a pretty light snack if you just want one individually packaged snack. Uh, and these have um, chopped pecans on the inside. It falls apart very nicely. It's kind of like a cross between a um, cinnamon roll and a pound cake in terms of texture. Really sticky, a strong cinnamon flavor in there. Now, like you'd expect from any prepackaged bread item, it is a little bit dry. So I got my milk. That definitely helps out a little bit. I'm gonna give these guys a six out of 10. It's a little bit too dry, but it does have a nice uh, bite to it, like a good mouthfeel and is very sweet. So if you like sweets for breakfast or you want a little snack, you know, it's a good thing to go, go for. Six out of 10, not super memorable, but uh, not too bad. All right, next up, the honey buns. Now this box has six pastries and each one comes in at 230 calories. So a little bit more substantial. This looks like the kind of kind of thing that you might have with morning coffee, like a Danish that you dip in coffee, you know? It's got some kind of sugary glaze on top. And very light and fluffy. I think that glaze helps it taste a little bit less dry. And if I had one of these for breakfast every single morning, I would not be a bit disappointed. I'm gonna give these guys a seven out of 10. They're a little bit better. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. This is so insane, guys. So many friggin' pastries. So one thing that Little Debbie's makes uh, a lot of are different varieties of cakes. So I'm gonna start out with their mini birthday cakes. They look pretty good. The picture on the front, at least, makes me very excited for what this is gonna taste like. All right, so each one of these boxes has eight uh, cakes in it. And each cake, it's one of these guys, is a whopping 200 calories. It seems like a lot of calories to pack into something so small. All right. It's covered in sprinkles. The sprinkles aren't really staying on, so this is maybe something that you'd eat if you don't mind making a mess because those sprinkles are going everywhere. So it looks like it's cream filled. Very light, very fluffy uh, texture on the bread with some kind of icing on the outside. Kind of indistinct sweetness going on. 
maybe a little bit of vanilla in there. Now the shape of this is made for dipping. So I got to try that out. Yeah, for how light this is, I'm really surprised that it's 200 calories. It does have a good like cupcake or birthday cake texture though. So it's pretty much exactly what you'd expect uh, from a birthday cake. You don't get that fluffy frosting on the outside, but the whipped cream on the inside and that little icing on the outside is a good analog to it. So not too bad. I'll give these guys a 7 out of 10. Pretty dang tasty. If you don't mind sprinkles just going everywhere. Next up, a cookies and cream cake. Look at the picture on the front of that. Now, one serving is two of these cakes. And each serving is 320 calories. So it looks like you get quite a bit more to eat with uh, this snack. So the cookies and cream has like a chocolate on the inside instead of the white cake. Again, it's very fluffy. It's got that whipped cream in the middle and crumbled cookies on top. So it's got a really strong kind of artificial flavor going on here. Uh, the chocolate, not so good. It kind of tastes like they used a low quality chocolate. It's kind of spongy in a uh, not super pleasant way. which is something that you get a lot when you have these uh, chocolate cakes that are uh, prepackaged. Probably loses a lot of moisture, so we're gonna try it with some milk. Now that makes it way, way better. Might even be like an eight out of 10 with the milk. By itself, maybe a five out of 10, not so good. But dunk it in some milk, and man, it is delicious. Next up, zebra cakes. Again, each one of these is packaged in pairs and each uh, pair is 320 calories. Come on. There we go. So it looks like it's mostly that white frosting on the outside striped with chocolate. That must be where they get the, uh, that zebra name going on. So yeah, this tastes a lot like the birthday cake with just a hint of chocolate this time. I think that hint of chocolate is a lot more pleasant than the uh, chocolate in the actual breading part of it. So it's very similar to the uh, birthday cakes, except without the sprinkles that are going everywhere. Just tastes a little bit artificial. Like you'd expect with any bread product. That's meant to stay uh, shelf stable. <laughs> it has roughly 3,000 ingredients in it. I would love to have these like in my lunch as a kid. So I'm going to give these a 7 out of 10. Really reminds me of childhood. Last up from the uh, cakes are the frosted fudge cake. Mmm. So there are eight individually wrapped cakes in this box, and each one is 190 calories. So, same kind of form factor that is made for dipping <laughs> with the chocolate cream on the inside. So, this is a chocolate cake filled with chocolate whipped cream covered in chocolate. Like, this is all chocolate. If you're a chocolate lover, I'm sure you'd love these frosted fudge cakes. They taste a little bit fluffier, a little bit uh, lighter than the cookies and cream cakes, but dipped in milk, they're dang, dang good. I'm gonna give these guys a six out of 10. Uh, I think they are a little bit better than the cookies and cream cake.
So those are the four cakes. Let's move on. Got my slowly accumulating pile of stuff. So the next category that I wanted to check out were a couple of different varieties of brownies that they have. So first up, I'm going to check out the uh, turtle brownie. This is turtle brownie and it says it's a specialty recipe, so you know it's going to be good, right? <laughs> now typically, a turtle flavored treat is chocolate, caramel, and pecans. But it looks like this is chocolate, caramel, and peanuts. So not really a turtle, but eh, I guess you'll go with it. And that name turtle comes from these uh, candies that you used to be able to get. You might still be able to get them, but they were uh, like little chocolate truffles uh, with pecans, surrounded by pecans, and the way that they made them, they looked kind of like turtles. So that's where that name comes from. All right, so one, uh, one of these boxes has eight brownies, and each one, each one of these is 200 calories. So again, like this tiny, tiny little puck. So these are some concentrated calories. <laughs> I don't know how they packed 200 calories into this little bite-sized thing, but uh, they did. Now this feels way different from the cakes. It feels like it's way more dense. You see it's covered uh, with a chocolate shell on top, but inside the shell is some caramel and it's got like chopped peanuts uh, on the very top of it. And it is incredibly dense. Oh my goodness. So dense, so moist. It is completely different from the cakes. And that caramel has a really nice flavor to it. It's actually a good balance of like rich and sweet. I don't taste the peanuts very much, but I am not complaining. Just chocolate caramel brownie. Really, really good. I love chocolate and caramel, so I'm gonna give these guys an eight out of 10. All right, next up, a fudge brownie. Now this has six brownies in it, and uh, each one is 280 calories. <laughs> oh my goodness. It sounded like a bunch of rocks falling out of that. These things are so heavy. Like if you look at that, it looks like it should be about an ounce, but each one of these is about two and a half ounces. <laughs> so really heavy, really dense. Looks like it's gonna be chocolate with chocolate and a little bit of peanuts on top. A little bit of nuance of flavor in that one. Like it doesn't taste like the same chocolate flavor that was in the turtles. There's something going on in there. Maybe it's a little bit of spice. Oh, so these are walnuts, not peanuts. That's what the uh, difference in flavor is. So I love walnuts. They're very tasty in my opinion. So you do taste a little bit of the walnuts. Uh, that flavor is a lot more distinctive than just peanuts. Now there are also almonds in the uh, ingredients list. So maybe there's like some almond flour going on in there. Because the brownie itself tastes like it has a little bit of a nutty flavor on the inside. So if you can spare the calories, this is dang tasty. I'm gonna give these guys an eight out of 10 too. Cause yeah, that rich chocolate flavor, not too sweet, not over the top of the sweetness, combined with just a hint of those walnuts, super, super tasty. Last up, we have the Cosmic Brownies. Now again, there are six brownies in this and each one is 280 calories. It's 
So it's another box of these wee little calorie bombs. And it just looks like brownies with some kind of candy on top. So the ingredients list on this is gigantic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And there's got to be, I don't know, a dozen different artificial flavorings and artificial um, colors. There's Blue 2 Lake, which is notoriously bad for your health. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was banned, but maybe it isn't. All right, we're going to try these. Crunchy little candies on top. So I was surprised how those first two brownies had a really nuanced flavor. Like there's a lot more going on in there than I expected for just a, you know, a prepackaged, uh, individually packaged treat. But this one, no nuance at all. It's, <laughs> it's chocolate. It's got some fudge cream on top. It's really rich, really chewy, and those candies are just sweet and crunchy. Of the three, this is the one to go for if you've got a sweet tooth. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. Not as much nuance. It kind of feels like it's so dense. It feels like I'm just biting into a, a big block of fudge. And I can feel the sugar just going directly into my veins and clogging things up. <laughs> so the cosmic brownies were pretty much exactly what I thought they would be. But the fudge brownies and the turtle brownies, way better than I thought. You know, that's like a grown up treat. So keep that in mind. Uh, pretty dang good. All right, next up, Little Debbie has a bunch of different varieties of uh, like rolls that they make. So I'm gonna try uh, their Swiss roll, which just looks like a chocolate roll with uh, some whipped cream on the middle. Covered in a nice chocolate coating. Now one serving is two rolls and each one of these boxes has six servings. Each serving is 270 calories. So the texture, we're back into the realm of the cakes, like super light, super fluffy. That cream in the middle is like tooth achingly sweet. <laughs> it is so sweet. Like I hardly get any chocolate at all. But if you look at this, it is chocolate cake covered in chocolate. And the sweet cream on the middle is overpowering this. Very artificial flavoring. That tastes like something that came out of a chemical lab. If you like candy, you'd probably dig these. I don't dig them too much. I'm gonna give them a five out of 10. Like, I might not pass them up if I was starving, but uh, not really my favorite. All right, next up, I'm gonna try their strawberry shortcake rolls. Now there are six rolls in this box and each roll is 240 calories. Okay, so instead of getting two rolls, you get one bigger roll. And it looks like it's filled with a strawberry jelly or something on the inside. Again, tooth achingly sweet. <laughs> it's so sweet. Very artificial uh, strawberry flavoring going on but it does have a little bit more bite to it. It feels a little bit more substantial when I chew it and when I bite into it. So it isn't just like that really super light and fluffy, like bite it and disappear that you get from the cakes. But this does taste like sugar in bread form. It's so artificial though. 
It does not taste like any strawberry that was grown in nature. Now I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. I think that the bread part is really good. It tastes like a, a pretty decent uh, shortcake that you might buy at a, a grocery store or something like that. But the filling is just a chemistry lab. Like it just tastes like, uh, uh, it tastes like strawberry flavored toothpaste. Like it's, it's not, not very pleasant at all. So you have the thin, crispy, airy wafers with a thin chocolate cream on the outside. Those are exactly as delicious as I remember them from my childhood. One thing that I always used to like to do was like break them apart. And there's this really, really sweet, tasty peanut butter on the inside. I mean, there is nothing about this that I don't like. The chocolate, it's gotta be the sweet milk chocolate or something on the outside. Uh, and it's got the perfect texture to it, just a little bit of crunch. Rich chocolate, again, very sweet, with a little bit of salt. This is, in my opinion, the perfect snack, so I'm gonna give these guys. I don't know, nine and a half out of 10. <laughs> this is by far my favorite so far. These are a star crunch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it says each one of these boxes has 12 cookies in it. And each cookie is 150 calories. So these are chocolate covered cookies with <clears throat> uh, caramel and puffed rice crisps on the outside, which sounds pretty dang delicious to me. So yeah, it's a cookie on the inside and the chocolate coating just is studded with what looks like puffed rice. got kind of a weird molasses flavor. I think the cookie and the caramel flavors are kind of like battling each other. I don't know what's going on there. And the caramel is really chewy, but the puffed rice is really crispy. Those are kind of like canceling each other out. And it's almost like chewing, it's like chewing soggy paper in my mouth. I think there's too much conflicting stuff going on with this. So I see this is made with molasses. It's got some barley malt in it. So it's got some kind of odd uh, sweeteners in there. <clears throat> Not over the top sweet. Kind of a weird flavor though, uh, with all those different uh, things going on. So I'm gonna give it a five out of 10, maybe even a four out of 10. Like this is just kind of unpleasant. Not the best. Next up, oatmeal cream pies. I'm sure there's all kinds of double entendres I could make there, but um, we'll just stick with the oatmeal cream pies. Oatmeal cookies with a nice cream on the inside. Got 12 of them in this box, so quite a few. And each one is 170 calories. Ooh, really chewy, really soft. Very soft texture there. So kind of a marshmallow flavor with the cream on the inside. And the cookies are very, very chewy. It's not unpleasant at all. I think that's just so uh, the cream on the inside doesn't like squirt out when you bite into it. Instead, you kind of chew into it. Now that's a trick that you, you use when uh, you're, you're 
making cookies for ice cream sandwiches, for example, so that the cookies are a little bit easier to bite through instead of like snapping. But the cookies here have a lot of spice, not overly sweet, really pleasant, a lot of flavor going on. I'm gonna give these a seven out of 10. These are really, really good. Way better than those weird Star Crunch things. Good grief. These guys did oatmeal cookies right. <laughs> All right, next up, I'm gonna try the classic chocolate cupcakes. Now this container has eight cupcakes in it and each cupcake is 220 calories. Now, I don't know if Hostess or Little Debbie is older, but these are exactly the same as Hostess cupcakes. Like, they look identical. They've even got that cream on the inside. <laughs> so one of these guys stole a recipe. I don't know if it was Little Debbie that stole it from Hostess or the other way around. Yeah, really dense, really chocolatey. Tastes like that chocolate cream on top might even be a ganache, not just an icing. But it's got that classic, you know, white swirl on top, that whipped cream in the middle, ultra sweet. <laughs> this is another one that I would not be disappointed to have this in my lunchbox if I was a kid every single day. Now this is a good sweet chocolate. Like it's very tasty. Tastes a lot less, I don't know, a lot less uh, manufactured than some of the other chocolate treats that I had. So I'm liking this. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. Very, very good. You know, packaged breads are often really dry. When you add cocoa powder, it dries it out even more, but these are not dry. They're nice and chewy and moist. I love them. Very, very good. Good job, little Debbie. All right, and last but not least, uh, the cherry fruit pies. Now there are eight pies in this container, uh, and each one, and each one of these is 260 calories. So these are actually kind of small. <laughs> Looks like a tiny like cherry ravioli. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so it's got a, a sweet sugar glaze on the outside. Ooh. Not quite as flaky as I thought it would be, but it's got a good uh, raspberry filling, or no, a cherry filling on the inside. It's really crumbly. It's not flaky like you'd expect a um, pie, pie crust to be, but it's more like a shortbread. Maybe even like a shortbread cookie. I'm not too disappointed in this at all though. Tastes like a shortbread, like a thumbprint cookie with a cherry uh, jelly on it. Now, of course, the jelly on the inside does not taste like cherries one bit. It's nice and artificial, sweet, and uh, candy tasting. The um, outside, like the crust, Tastes like a short dough cookie, which um, I actually like quite a bit. So I'm gonna give this maybe a six or a seven out of 10. Uh, this was way better than I expected it would be. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that, got a kick out of some of those reviews. And I wanna make sure that you can actually see this. Just obscene pile of stuff in front of me. <laughs> I mean, like I said, this is more than 30,000 calories. <laughs> There's no way that I'm gonna be able to eat all of this in one sitting. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but that doesn't mean that I can't dig in and enjoy myself at least a little bit with some of these pastries that I liked more. 
So let's start off with the surprisingly delicious cherry pies. So a fun fact about Little Debbie is if you've ever heard of Iron Man Triathlon, you know, Iron Man is an actual brand, not a type of race that you do. Uh, and different Iron Man races, they happen all around the country, all around the world. And each race generally has a title sponsor that, you know, puts up some money to help put on the race. And usually it's like a local charity or a local company. Sometimes it's a big brand like Timex um, sponsors some of the races, you know, real sports specific uh, sponsors. But there's one race in Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's the Chattanooga Ironman that is sponsored by Little Debbie Snack Cakes. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe Little Debbie's is gonna be the next big uh, food in sports.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it quits there, guys. <laughs> I'll count up what's left on the table, see if I can't round up the uh, quantities of everything that I actually ate and get you guys some numbers. Now there's a lot of stuff here left on the table. None of it is going to waste. Don't worry, I'm not gonna throw any of it out. Probably save these oatmeal cookies uh, for snacks for later, because these were pretty good. I was really surprised with these. Uh, otherwise, I'm probably gonna wrap them up and uh, drop them in a food donation box or something. We'll see. That was the Grand Little Debbie's Snack Cakes, Snack Cookies, Snack Confections of Review. And a bit of a feast. I didn't expect to be able to eat all of them, um, and this was just an endless pile of stuff. <laughs> like there's, there's no way one person could uh, eat all of these on their own. So I hope you guys got a kick out of that, uh, and until next time, peace out. You take it easy. It's gonna be so much friggin' footage to go through.